to my channel. I feel like I'm getting really repetitive with that. What's up gamers? Hey, this is really awkward. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Nailed it. Today I am making another corset top, but this one is going to be pretty different from my last one because the last one I made was more of a bustier type of top and this one's going to be like that really like trendy one that was in for a hot minute because I know I'm late to every single trend but I still want to make it so we're gonna just make it today. Because honestly if I partake in a trend and I'm not like six months late, like did I, am I even doing it right? But anyway, for this project I'm going to be using this leftover like embroidered organza I think it is. And it's super cute and I used it for a previous top over here. And I saved all the extra because I'm just so in love with it. And I think I have like the perfect amount to make this top. And then I'm also going to be using this leftover creep back satin from my silky dress. But if you want any easier fabric to work with, I would recommend getting more of a twill type of fabric. It doesn't have a shimmer to it and it's a little bit stiffer which will work better I think for a corset. But this is what I have today, so this is what I'm working with. And of course you don't need to get an overlay fabric, I just happen to have this and really really love it, so I'm going to put these two together, and hopefully this will be really cute. And this top should also not be too hard to make, so it should be pretty beginner friendly. And I'm really looking forward to wearing this top, I think it's going to be so cute and like such like a princess aesthetic, like, I cannot wait. <laughs> For this top, I really recommend that you start with cutting out your lining piece first, and then you're going to use those lining pieces to just cut those pieces out of your organza or overlay fabric. And I was so close to not having enough of this organza, like it was so close, but I'm so happy I had just the right amount. So for this project, there's really not very many pieces to cut out. This is the center piece, and you're going to cut two out of your lining and one out of your overlay fabric. And then here we have the little side piece, and for this one you're going to cut four of your lining and two out of your overlay fabric. And then believe it or not, the very last one is your back piece. And again, we're cutting four out of the lining and two out of the overlay. So basically everything we're cutting just half out of our overlay. Cutting out these pieces was really close and I'm so happy I was able to make it fit because I'm so in love with this fabric already. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of our sheer layers and I'm going to base them on top of one of our lining layers. Now we're going to take the big front piece and we're going to sew both of the little side pieces to it. And now I'm going to sew those lining pieces the exact same way. So now that the front pieces are sewn, it's time to work on the back pieces. So I'm going to fold the back piece in half so that the strap is perfectly in half. And then I'm going to make a dart that goes in about three quarters of an inch and is about six inches tall. And I'm going to do that on all of the back pieces. So I finished sewing up all of the back darts and I've been thinking about how to assemble this whole bodice for a while and I think the best thing to do next is to sew up the shoulder seams. So I'm going to take the front piece and I'm going to take both of the back pieces that go with this one and I'm going to lay it out and the longer side of the back piece should be towards the center on both pieces and then I'm just going to sew up the shoulder seams and I'm honestly not totally sure where I want them yet so I'm just going to try it on and make sure that I like the length of them and also when you sew shoulder seams you should always make them at a slight angle going downwards from the center okay so now here I've laid out the pieces that we just sewed here at the shoulder seams and so basically I laid them on top of each other pretty side to pretty side and I'm going to sew all around the neckline leaving the back edges open and then I'm also going to sew here around both of the arm seams. And lining all of this up can be pretty difficult that's why I have some extra pins in here just to hold everything in place but try to get everything as flat as you possibly can during this. Now I'm going to do some zigzagging next to the seams just to get rid of all of this fraying. And then I'm going to cut down the seams. And I'm also going to add notches around some of the curves. So I'm just going to put little cuts around here so that it'll fold around the curve a little better. And now I'm going to turn this whole thing right side out. Now we're going to finish sewing up the side seams. So I'm going to take one piece connected by a strap and I'm going to hold on to either side. And so basically I'm just going to connect the top seams together like this. And then I'm going to sew down either side here. And again, I didn't really cut it this way, but both ends should kind of slant downwards from the center seam here. Also, now I have an EB banded because our new puppy bit me. The bodice is looking so good so far, and now it's finally time to add in the boning. 
So this is the boning I have and it's really thick and I bought it off of Amazon a while ago and I wanted something thinner for this look so I was going to use zip ties but I unfortunately don't have enough of the super long ones to use. So what I did instead is I actually just cut my boning in half and then I zigzagged down the edge to keep all the little like boning plastic parts together. So I think I'm just going to use this. So right now we need to figure out the placement for the boning. So I'm going to lay the piece down nice and flat and on the back side I'm just going to mark out all the places that I want boning. So I want to have one down the center and then two coming down the sides like this. So I'm going to take a ruler and a water soluble pencil and I'm just going to mark out where I want them on the back side. So I'm just going to add a bunch of pins to the front to make sure that everything lays super nice and flat and then I'm just going to sew down either side of these lines. And now that these center ones are sewn, I'm also going to sew one down the side right here. So I'm just going to basically top stitch down the seam that we sewed here and then do another row towards the back. So now that all of the boning casings are sewn, we're going to take our boning and before you put it in, it's really important that you round out the little edge because you don't want this to poke through your fabric on accident. And now I'm just going to take the boning and push it through the casings. Now before we finish up the bottom edge, I really want to finish up the sides. I just tried these on and I pinned it back so that when these line up, they fit nice and snugly together. And so now I'm just going to cut this down so that I have a seam allowance. And then I'm going to turn the whole thing inside out and sew down that edge. So to finish up the bottom edge, I'm going to use some single fold bias tape. But first we need to figure out exactly how long the shirt is going to be because we need to cut down our boning a bit. So I'm just going to cut around where I want to sew the bias tape and then I'm going to pull the boning out a little bit, cut about a centimeter off and round those edges out. And now it's time to use our single fold bias tape. So you're going to flip it over to the side that has both of the folded in edges and we're going to fold one of them up and we're just going to basically sew it along the fold here. So starting from this edge, I'm going to pin it all along the front side and I'm just going to very carefully sew directly down that fold. And at the very beginning and end, I'm going to fold this little edge in so that we get a finished edge here. And now I'm very carefully just going to sew all along this seam. And now I'm just going to cut down the seam really close to the bias tape here. And I'm going to fold this edge up and down. And now I'm going to just pin and sew this around this edge. And now the bottom edge is totally done. And now the last thing to do on this bodice is to finish up the back. For this part, there's a few different options you could do. Um, I've seen some people use separating zippers. You could also do um, grommets, which I think is super cute, but I unfortunately don't have any on hand. But I do have this hook and eye tape. So this I just got off of Amazon and it just has all these little hooks. And I think it's a really cute closure for a corset. And the way it's supposed to be used is you're supposed to put like your fabric between here and then just sew it closed. But I don't want the bulkiness of this. So I'm basically just going to top stitch the bodice on top of it. So because we already have this finished edge on the back here, I'm basically just going to take one side of our hook and eye tape, put this on top of it, and just top stitch this down. So for the right side of the back, I'm going to use the hook part and on the left side, I'm going to use the eye part. So I just put some pins here to hold this edge flat. Now I'm going to take our hook piece and cut off the top hook. And I'm going to fold this edge over and back so that we don't have any raw edges. And I'm just very carefully going to stitch this next to the edge. And I'm basically going to do the same exact thing with the eye piece. And with that, the corset top is done. It turned out so pretty, you guys. It looks like a princess corset, and I'm so excited to put an outfit together with it. And here's how the corset turned out. I've wanted to make this top for a very long time. I'm just really happy with how this overlay fabric worked with the satin and it is just such a beautiful and flattering silhouette to me. And it definitely gives me off like those either like princess core or fairy core vibes. And I'm kind of obsessed. This top really wasn't very hard, but I think that the payoff is very good. So I really hope you guys give this one a try. And as I always say, if you guys do decide to give this a try, I would love to see it on Instagram. You can always send me a picture or tag me. And I will see you guys next Friday for another video. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.